Good day, everyone. I am Kuo Wai Jing, or you can call me Joyce, from Xiamen University, Malaysia. And my presentation for today's conference paper is Students' Perceptions of Design-Based Interactive Learning Tools in a Constructivist-Based Learning Environment. The content would be Introduction, Methodology, Findings, Pedagogical Implications, and Conclusion. Education is moving beyond traditional chalk and talk and even PowerPoint presentation, as this teaching method has been shown to do little to improve students' engagement, thinking, and communication skills. Research indicated that current graduates' lack of crucial skills needed by the industry such as creative and creative thinking skills, communication skills, and problem-solving skills. Research has also shown that constructivist-based classroom provide students with an active learning experiences as they learn to construct new knowledge, collaborate, and engage more in their content. And that is where web technology have emerged as potential enablers for more student-centered learning. And as such, Malaysian education is poised to move towards this innovative teaching and learning method. As Sharma, Gao, Sadikuti and Rastogi in 2017 indicated that in the Malaysian education blueprint from year 2013 to year 2025, has demands all the higher institutions in Malaysia to maximize the use of ICT in the teaching and learning process to improve the quality of teaching and learning. Therefore, further research is needed to gauge students' perceptions on using these tools effectively in their learning process. The shift from conventional classroom education to constructivist-based learning environment did challenge the teachers and students in the current education environment. Universities and educators are finding ways to address the issues of traditional teaching and learning methods. So in this 21st century, advancement in technology has challenged educators to develop students who can adapt in this demanding environment. Education in the 21st century has emphasized more on gaining the necessary skills such as critical thinking, creative thinking, collaborations, and communication skills, which are the four C's, to equip students with the various kind of skills to prepare them for working place. As such, this research addressed this issue by investigating students' perceptions of interactive lecture tools such as the use of block and Kahoot quiz, embedded in a constructivist-based learning environment. This study provides the lectures with a deeper insights for using interactive tools to improve students' engagement. Educators need to be aware that the skills and knowledge that they have taught in the class are transferable to the working place. Learning nowadays requires some type of digital engagement of students in order to develop their higher order critical thinking skills. And therefore, educators today are challenged to innovate their teaching and learning method with technologies in order to meet these expectations of today's students. They are now tasked with the challenge to design learning environments and curricula, which motivates and encourages students to be independent thinkers and multi-skills workers and also creative lifelong learners. Education system today are not just equipping students with these skills which are needed in today's society. Today's demands are placed on education system to produce graduates who can adapt to this fast-changing environment. Students need 21st century skills in order to improve their achievement and promote constructions of knowledge 
that prepares them to be successful in their future careers. Employers these days are looking for graduates who can be problem solvers, can adapt to any situation, creative, have good communications, teamwork and presentation skills, and also are technologically competent. The classroom for the 21st century will be wherever the learner is located. Learning has to take place in anywhere and anytime. The conventional teaching and learning method are time limited. Students only learn in the classroom hours. But with the power of educational technology, things can be done in other ways. There is a need to focus on the effective use of technology in support of teachers' pedagogical and curricular issues. Blocks are useful in helping students enhance their writing and reading skills. Personal blogs are similar to online journals that consist of personal information, whereas in a collaborative blog, the project leader and group members view and leave comments, and the group members are in charge of updating their own blogs. So blogs are useful for students as a platform to reflect their learning process as well as used for communicating with each other. It is also a helpful tool for teachers to establish encouragement and nurturing discussion space, uh, spaces that would enhance students' reflection. A study conducted by Lee in 2017 investigated that the students' perceptions towards the effectiveness in using blogging in learning process conclude that blogging promotes students' attention, empowers students to become more creative, and encourage to integrate into teaching and learning process to promote critical reflections and collaboration in learning environment. However, in the existing literature, there have been limited focus on blogging activities and how these activities influence the effectiveness of learning that occur in higher education classrooms. Related constructivism has largely focused on face-to-face -face teaching and learning context. Therefore, these research studies look into the perceptions of interactive lecture tools such as the use of blog and Kahoot quiz in the learning process. Kahoot quiz is a visual graphics that created opportunities for educators to revise, review and readdress the teaching content of the class. Kahoot Quiz is basically a digital game-based system that provides opportunity for educators and students to interact through games in classroom settings. It usually being used in a midterm, final review, or each class or can begin with a Kahoot to promote initial engagement. Kahoot also allows students to revise what they have learned from previous lessons and become active learners. Interactive tools like Kahoot provides real-time feedback, understanding, and create opportunity for students' participation. And the principal objective of this study were as follows. Number one, to develop a constructivist-based learning environment centered around a design project. Second, to incorporate block and Kahoot quiz into the learning activities to foster constructivist-based skills. And third, to investigate students' perception of using block and Kahoot quiz as interactive lecture tools to engage their learning. Thus, this led to a research questions being formed as to look at what are the students' perceptions of using interactive lecture in a constructivist-based learning environment. A constructivist learning environment model were being adopted to design the learning environment and map to the use of the design-based interactive lecture tools to investigate student engagement, critical and creative thinking skills. Students who involved in this interactive classroom learn how to build a three-dimensional or we call it as 3D modeling 
were among the research participants in this study, which is about 18 of them. A set of design-based assignments were given to the students to engage in an active and collaborative learning environment. The interactive tools such as Block and Kahoot Quiz were used as the platform for students to participate and engage in their learning. The duration of the study took approximately about 14 weeks and students were required to submit their 3D modeling assignments project at the end of the semester. A qualitative research approach was adopted in this study to gauge the students' attitude and perceptions towards the learning environment with the use of blog and Kahoot quiz as the platform for learning interactions. Phenomenography data analysis were demonstrated whereby the students' comments were solicited to provide richer support on the overall results. The collected data were being analyzed to investigate the following constructs. Number one, students' engagement. Number two, motivation to use the interactive learning tools for design and collaboration. And number three, the interactive participation. So under the findings, Students found to be actively participated in the blogging activities by writing their work progress of their assignments. They are consistently showing their work improvement from the beginning until its work completion. Students were also given opportunity to write their opinions and suggestions in the blog for future or work for further work improvement. Lectures and classmates' feedback become the source of valuable information to further improve their work. So the image provided illustrates one of the students' blog with the assignment progress report done using the blog method. To further strengthen the studies, these are some of the students' feedback on the use of the blog. The first student said, the blog helped me document all my working progress and yet I can refer to other blog posts for further improvements. As for the second student, it says, I like to use blog to recap what I have learned from the very beginning until the work completions. I learn a lot by practicing my writing and critical thinking skills during the assignments progress. And as for the third student, I never expect that these blogging activities can archive all my working progress stages and I can see how far I have been progressively improving on my assignments quality. So besides blogging, students were also very excited to get themselves involved in the weekly quick lecture quizzes revisions. The interactive tools used was the Kahoot quiz and students were given a short quiz each week to recap what they have learned and understand from the lecture. Students were very much engaged and enjoy each time they participated into the quiz. So each, uh, each week um, quiz sessions has ended, the students already felt excited and couldn't wait for the next quiz sessions. So this inculcates that you know, the interactive tools had greatly engaged into the students' learning process. To further strengthen the studies, these are some of the comments as well or the students' feedback on the use of Kahoot Quiz. Student number one say, Amazing for Kahoot Quiz! I learned to think fast. My thinking capability changed to better. As for the second student, Interesting because we answer them live on the spot and show in front of the screen whereby everyone or everybody go, Whoa! It is so real. <laughs> and as for the third student, he says, Awesome! More quizzes after this. So the significance of the research was to implement an interactive learning activities with the use of blog and Kahoot quiz for further interactive classroom solutions and to investigate the learning experience from both teachers and students with the interactive tools used within the learning environment. So in this study, the use of blog and Kahoot quiz were able to engage the students' participation by having gradual discussions in a constructive manner. Writing the work progress in blog with the use of ICT tools helps generate an interaction among the teachers and students to produce more engaging environment in learning. 
the interactive technology tools hence become an interactive solutions to provide the learners a more conducive learning outcome and to further enhance in their learning. And as for the conclusion, as there was a saying that a picture speaks a thousand words. So with the use of visual elements, it did help students uh, or the learners to engage much deeper understanding towards learning. So interaction that performed through visualization help engage the students to learn better in their learning process. Blogging activities foster the students become techno savvy learners and able to work together as a team to achieve their final goals. And as together with the use of Kahoot quiz, interactions also help to enhance the communication between the teacher and the students through the form of discussion, problem solving and critical thinking. With all the technology oriented tools being used in the learning environment, the teachers and learners are now able to express their thoughts and understanding by generating and interactive activities to trigger for the learning success. And these are the references for research studies. And shall you have more information, do contact us using the contact information provided in here. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.